Yo guys, what's going on? Lucky G7 is back again to give you guys another discussion video. Not just any discussion video, but an update video. Something I have not done in quite a long time, actually. It has been, I want to say a couple years. Maybe two or three at the most that I've done one of these. And I think it's so fitting that I do a video like this for the very start of the new year, which... I do want to say that hopefully everyone was able to have a great new year. Y'all were able to spend time with friends and families. Y'all got some amazing gifts, hopefully, during Christmas. And, you know, just spending time with, you know, your loved ones. And I think that's a very important thing because so much goes on. You know, throughout the year, and like when you're when you're just winding it down to the final days within the year, it really kind of gives you a bit of an outlook, a bit of reflection on like how things went and where you kind of want to go moving forward. And that's kind of something I also want to do, you know, with the channel because I know as far as my end of things go, you know, I haven't been like the most consistent when it comes to delivering content but when i do deliver it usually comes in like waves like four five six maybe like eight weeks and then for for a period of time i just disappear and that's something i really want to work on this year is you know try to deliver as much content as i possibly can now if i miss a chapter or two okay fine but my aim goal for this year is to you know deliver the content when it comes out. Now, if I can't deliver the content like I want to, I'll give you guys an update, as I always do. But this whole notion of me, you know, being so far behind, like, take One Piece for example. I started uh, reviewing One Piece again, like, probably since summer. And then for a period of time, I just kind of, it kind of went back and forth uh, with me being caught up, taking a pause, and then, you know, just coming back again. That's kind of what happened with me when it came to One Piece. And something I do want to do with One Piece is I'm going to tackle a live stream discussion slash review probably within, not like this upcoming weekend, because I'm going to be out of town uh, starting from the 4th, and I won't be back in town until, like, Sunday. So it won't be that within that week, because... The day I come back, afterwards, I go back into work. So it's going to be a little bit impossible for me to gather all my thoughts on those chapters within, you know, a Monday through Friday. But definitely between, say, Saturday and Monday, because it'll be a holiday break, a very short holiday break, I should say, I'll be able to tackle my, my thoughts on One Piece then. So expect... You know, a catch-up live stream discussion for One Piece, probably around like if I'm looking at the dates right now, say between the 12th of January to the 15th of January, within that time span. So that's like literally four days. I had so much fun, you know, doing the unofficial like live stream discussions that i was doing for one piece before like the official translations came out right and then when they came out i would do like a analysis breakdown of the chapter and you know just like compare and contrast like translations and that's something i'm still going to be doing moving forward but that's only going to be happening after i tackle my um my catch-up stream. So that'll be happening again sometime around uh, January 12th to January 15th. Within that time span, I'll be doing uh, the catch-up discussion stream. Now, another addition I want to throw in here is Children X, which I did tackle for a period of time, and then it fell on the wayside more so because of like how you know, the schedule of release of Children X is coming out. And, and that is by no fault of Sui Hino. I am so happy that he's able to, like, release the chapter on his own accord. I love that. 
And yeah, I know it does kind of be a little inconsistent, and it's like, well, hold on, the chapter just came out. It was a little alarming at first, but I think now Ishida has done, like, such a great job at, like, you know, releasing the chapter, at least, like, within the month's time frame, you know? It's kind of be, kind of become, like, a bi-weekly to a semi, like, monthly release schedule. And I've kind of started to pattern that out a little bit. But because there's so much content with Children X, what I'm going to be doing is uh, volume reviews. I'm going to be doing uh, the Children X volume reviews, tackling the content from there, you know, doing, like, a stream dedicated to each volume, building up to where we are with the next chapter. And that is what will be going down with Children X. And that is probably going to be happening... Again, I'm going to try to tackle that with within like that four day gap between, say, the 12th of January to the 15th of January. I think most likely I'm going to be tackling that on the 15th. So the earliest I'll say maybe Saturday, and the latest will probably be the 15th. That'll be like when the first volume of uh, live stream discussion of Children Ice Cream and Elite went, and. So it's gonna be like as I finish up each vol as he, sorry, as I finish up each chapter within the week, say like that weekend, you'll get a volume uh screen discussion on Children X. Next thing, if you see one of the things I have in the bottom, it is one of the token cool I have. I believe that's past. So that's gonna be a new addition I'm gonna be bring into the channel too, is you know, like light novel discussions. Because I do read light novels um, from time to time. I mean, currently I'm going through a read-through of 86, which is amazing. I love where 86 is going. And there has been a part of me that's been like, I kind of want to talk about, you know, the light novels too. Doing it through, you know, like Tokyo Ghoul, which it has been a super long time since I've talked about Tokyo Ghoul, and I am currently going through a read-through of Tilgigal Pasts, and honestly, I think that's going to be such a wonderful experience. So, that'll be something that's going to be coming soon, too, is a, you know, just a whole segment on, like, just light novels by itself. And the last thing I want to talk about is Fairy Tale Hunter Request. I know I did a podcast with Blue Star Saber, like, a while back. It's like so much content has come out since I've done that podcast with Blue Star Saber. And one of the things I'm going to do is tackle another Fairy Tale Hunters Quest podcast with him, you know, on this channel. And then when that podcast comes out, I will do a bi weekly, you know, live stream discussion slash review of each chapter of Hunter Quest. And it probably won't be, like, within the day. It might probably be, like, say, within, like, that week's time span. And that's honestly all I gotta say when it comes to, like, this, this update video. Pretty short, pretty sweet, uh, simple and to the point. You will still get, like, other stuff from me that I've been doing. Like, you'll still get, like, the, the podcasts I've been doing, like, for, like, a while. Like, the Naruto Anniversary podcast is still coming. I've actually still gotta work on that. That's been, like, kind of in the woodworks. Uh, which I'll probably tackle here, probably within like this upcoming week, which should have been our last week. But you'll you'll see that again. Again, One Piece is still going to be coming. I'm going to be working on that. I still got to talk about the live action series, and I've I've got some words I got to say about that too. Chojin X will be making a return. Light novels being a new addition to the channel is going to be a lot of fun, and of course, you know, like come to your quest. It's going to be amazing. But, with that being said, you guys, that's pretty much all I gotta say when it comes to this update video for 2024. Let me know what you guys' thoughts were on this update video. What are you looking forward to? And, how do you guys feel about where things are currently going with One Piece, with Children X? Um, how do y'all feeling about the new edition when we bring into the channel with the White Novels? And, especially for Fairy Tale, like, how are you guys feeling about the latest events of Hunter Quest? And aside from the guys, what y'all gonna say? I'm Lucky Seven. 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more anime and manga content. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace and Happy New Year.